Electric vehicles might be the death of radio. Well, AM radio anyways. Here's the problem. Having an AM radio in an EV can cause electromagnetic interference with the car's propulsion systems, like its electric motor and high voltage battery. Mitigating these problems is expected to cost automakers almost $4 billion over the next six years, something they really don't want to spend that kind of money on. But lawmakers might just make them. Soon AM radio will reign king once more. <laughs> Congress is considering versions of the AM radio for every vehicle act. If passed, this legislation would direct the Secretary of Transportation to issue a rule requiring automakers to include AM radio access in their cars. It also stops companies from charging drivers more money for the service. The reason behind this push? Public safety. Lawmakers are concerned that when natural disasters strike, people traveling in their cars could be left dangerously uninformed if they can't tune in. And while other forms of communication have failed during these incidents, AM radio has often remained resilient, operational, and has been the calming voice in the storm when on the go. Opponents argue that while automakers can't charge premiums for cars with AM radios, that doesn't mean they won't hike costs on all vehicles to make up for it. So cars would be more expensive for everyone over a form of communication used by a dwindling number of people. According to the Consumer Technology Association, only about 1% of Americans receive emergency alerts through AM radio. But that's still about 3 million people who otherwise would have been left with radio silence. Jack Almer, Straight Arrow News.